it's Andrea. Today I'm going to take you through a little bit of inspiration that ended up in my Bible pages. This is a Mama Dory and it holds your Illustrated Faith devotionals. It is handmade by Gina. She's wonderful. She's on our team. She is so fantastic. She made these by hand and so I painted mine and stamped it and the stamp inspiration is this um uh, unfinished stamp set by Jody York and the little business card thing that um that I have over there that's that teal color was just a perfect color I didn't even realize that it matched my uh, how I painted my mama dory but I am going to take some of those colors the the red and the turquoise to be specific and do a little something different in my bible today so normally uh you don't see me painting in my Bible. It's kind of not really my style, but I took from the verse that's on this card here as a bit of an inspiration to, I don't know, think about how we're different and how we're made. And I love that um, Timothy talks about not having a timid spirit. So I I'm very timid when it comes to paint and um, so I tried it for the very first time at the Illustrated Faith workshop that I went to a few weekends ago, and I, I just, I, I liked it. It was freeing, and I loved what it did for um, me, particularly, but I also just, you know, am honest with myself, and it's not what I'm going to do all the time. I, it hasn't um, changed who I am, um, but, you know, I think we do a lot of comparison uh, comparison to, you know, other people who do really awesome things, you know, but we're all, we're all unique. And I think God made us that way. So, I mean, who wants to be all the same? So I, I think that having these different unique parts about us is what makes us cool and special. And the stamp is perfect, uh, that says God has not called you to fit in. And I feel like it just really resonated with me in, um, not comparing myself to other people who paint really naturally. Um, you know, just being comfortable with the fact that I'm, I'm different and that's okay. It's totally okay. Um, and I just felt like I wanted to kind of try to weave this stamp in with, um, with kind of my experience recently with painting in my Bible. So here, what I have done is, oh my gosh, I hope my mom doesn't kill me, but I just used watercolor brushes for acrylic paints <laughs> because that's all I had. So I have painted, made swooshes and things, and now I'm just going to take that stamp and I'm using black ink so that I can use some other black uh, stamps all around. And I'm just putting it kind of right in the center, right over where there's not a lot of paint. So I don't know, I guess that's not really a technique. Um, but, um, the next thing I'm going to do is take the heart clusters and the paint splatter clusters, which I find really great because I don't think that I could create that naturally. I mean, I guess I could if I tried, but I'm not, again, not super comfortable with um, the messiness of this kind of style, but I actually really, really enjoyed it. I think it was really fun coming out of my happy and comfortable little box, and I feel like I was, I had a powerful spirit, like Second Timothy says, and it kind of, it felt good. It felt great to kind of just be random and not so calculated, and uh, I don't know if you are maybe if you're feeling stuck or maybe you think you're not good at something, I don't know, just give it a, give it a whirl. I just went to a local craft store and bought some dollar acrylic paints and colors that I liked and I just went for it. So don't hold back, be unique, don't fit in, do your own thing. And I think if we're doing that, it doesn't really matter what we're creating as long as we're doing it for God and having a heart for him and, and, doing this to spend time in his word. And I think that's all he really asks of us. But, so I'm also loving these, this outlined cross. I'm, I'm kind of putting them everywhere because <laughs> um, I really like the way it looks. And I also 
I think I said before that I was going to use this little paint splatter cluster. <clears throat> and the best, coolest part was that you can just kind of flip it around and it looks completely different than it did the last time you just stamped it. So, it's pretty cool. And then I'm going to use this word art from Bella Boulevard for Illustrated Faith and it says, Perfectly Loved. I just felt like it was the right thing um, in that space. And then just a little tab there at the top. And I'm also going to throw in um, a fabric scrappy paperclip thing that we made while we were at the workshop. And then what I'm going to do with this card, because I mean, it was the inspiration for this page. I really want to include it. So I'm going to line it up so that when you flip it over, it covers up the stamp. So it's a little bit interactive. So you're going to see the same thing when you flip it open, but you'll also see the description of the verse on the card. So I have just some old washi tape. It's a black and white polka dot, which I felt fit really well with the theme. And so that I don't cover up too much of the paint and the stamp, I'm just going to make it a real small piece. And I'm going to put it on both sides so that it can be flipped back and forth pretty easily. And I just pressed down um, a couple of times just to make sure it was secure on there. I don't know that I lined it up exactly perfectly, but I was pretty happy how, how that just came about. It wasn't really planned that way. And then the last thing I'm going to do, which is, I think I always do this, but I'm going to highlight the verse. So I have this opaque pen that I found at Michael's. Um, and I'm going to use a really cool technique that I've always seen Natalie use that I've never tried before. So she she just puts the stamp ink onto the, uh, an acrylic block and then uses her watercolor pen and basically uses that block as a palette. So I'm doing that. So thank you, Natalie, for your fantastic little idea. Because then I have the perfect color and I didn't have to get my paints out, which is really cool. And then I could just highlight that verse very quickly and be done. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me paint in my Bible. And um, just do something new. Be creative. And as long as you're worshiping God, I think he's going to love everything that you do. And how can you go wrong? So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.